Hello and welcome guys, let's do a quick team builder for week 2! We are facing off against the Elite Ask Cavaliers. So first off, let's talk about the Pokemons that we have. Uh, we, this week, we're bringing Dragapult again. Of course, one of the best Pokemon that we have, but this time a little bit different. We decided to have a Refect Light Screen version of Dragapult. Since uh, it's such a fast mod, being able to set up screens is really nice for us. Dragapult this time taking more of a defensive role. Uh, Shadow Ball still having enough uh, special attack to make sure that we can uh, two-hit kill certain things, like for example the Zatu, of course, uh, even the what's it called, the Anchor. I forgot the name of it. Wow, that's crazy. But yeah, that that's mainly a Dragapult. Just set up screens and try to U-turn in a bit. Next up, we got Guru Gustavo the Snorlax. Of course, this Snorlax is gonna be great. This is gonna be try and be our main sweeper. It's a rest set. We felt uh, that Thick Fat uh, Snorlax was gonna do great here, at, especially if you look at the Pokemon. Like Dermanitan, for example, we can try and wall that. Uh, this is like Dermanitan without Gorilla Tactics, of course, as well. We gotta, I gotta add that. We can wall Scent Scorch, possibly. Uh, like, just having a lot of defense is really great. Uh, Curse is a good set. We've got, as you see, we got a lot of Spadef so that we can certainly. Uh, that Hyper Voice doesn't two hit KOs, which is really great and really nice for us. So we got Facade in case we get a status and then Darkest Lariat to hit the Gorvi Knight with. That's that mainly being the scariest thing that could stop the Snorlax or the Persian Alolan. Next up we got Tangroot. Of course Tangroot is gonna have one job and that's being bulky. Uh, we've made a Regenerator Rocky Helmet set with Knockoff, Toxic, Power Whip and Rock Slide. Just able knockoff is just great to get rid of items. We need to get rid of those. It's easier that way. Uh, with combined with toxic as well, being sure that we can um, put some mons on timer. Corvina is always gonna try and switch in. That's why we got knockoff just to make sure that we get rid of his item. Uh, then we got power whip for stab, of course, uh, just to be able to hit like things as hard as possible. And then rock slide. Why rock slide? Because it hits the senti scorch in case it wants to switch in and the uh, Gavanchula and even possibly the Darmanitan when it goes for like an earthquake or something. Next up we got the Rotom. Rotom this time having a bit more of a sweeper set. We've got Nasty Plot, uh, Pain Split, over Thunderbolt, Rotom. Uh, meaning that we are gonna try and sweep with this thing. Uh, plus two, a plus two over it, Oko's any Sylveon, plus two overheat. Well, um, it chunks the Sand Scorch quite a bit because Sand Scorch got decent base but death we this one also walls the cover night quite nicely as well as the darmanitan especially but we gotta watch out for those rock slides of course and just being able overall a good pokemon uh, the main problem for this set is the drudigan which just walls this set pretty much like over it does quite a bit still but uh having this chip having the drudigan chip down makes it able for rotom to be able to take some kills Alright, we're bringing Scyther this time as well. Scyther with the heavy duty boots, of course, being four times rock weak isn't really all that great. We're kind of terrified of rocks from the Drudigan coming out. So definitely boots on it is really great. Do we meet U-turn and Defog? Since Rutom is going to be more of an offensive pre uh, pressure, we're got, we thought of Clever Girl having Defog, making sure that we can get rid of rocks if possible. Then also with the combination of Roost, Making sure that we can lift, uh, like st start roost stalling a bit if needed. We don't know if it should be needed, but if it's needed, we can do it. Lastly, we got the Blizzy. Of course, Blizzy, we all know it's a fat Pokemon. We made a max defense investment to make sure uh, that we can hit, lift some physical attacks as well. And for example, a side shock from the Slow King and stuff. Spe on the special side, it takes quite a bit from Hyper Voice. Uh, from specs, it built, I believe it was 40%, but that is enough for us to be able to soft boil again. We brought Shed Shell uh, this time to make sure that we don't get trapped somehow. Uh, for example, the Anchor, which has uh, a move which makes us not leave. I forgot the move. Uh, Steel Worker, no, that's his ability. Well, it's a move. I'm probably editing it. It's fine. We got just Wish, Stealth Rock, Seismic Tox, Fire Blast. Why Fire Blast? Fire Blast does enough chip to Corviknight. Uh, potential burn even and also on the Darmanitan. So overall pff, great move and Seismic Toss is just there because we need that. Just trying to wish pass with Blizzy would also be really great. 
But yeah, that's it. Let's get into the battle. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Hello guys, funny story. Remember when I said last week was gonna be the last time I was post comment that was post commentary? Well <laughs> I kind of did apparently. Uh I didn't find the recording for this week. For the second week. I don't know where it went. I got all the other weeks, I don't got this one. But this time I'm not commentating alone. This time I got my buddy, my old pal, and my coach be crazy with me. Hi. <laughs> so yeah, we're just gonna discuss this. We're gonna do so first off, uh, the main plan was just to leave Dragapult and just try set up screens, right? Yeah, so we, we set up the screens with Dragapult, we hand it over to or uh, Snorlax or uh, Rotom Heat or yeah. Scyther to just like clean up the rest, uh, to clean his team up. Yeah, I remember, I thought he was gonna be scared and switch out, just be afraid of like a Drake Meteor or something. Uh, I remember that. Uh, <laughs> we don't run that! <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. But then he reveals Sucker Punch and I'm like, Damn, I'm happy with this set. <laughs> yeah, it's it's also good before the for the baton pass. We we don't have to U-turn. Yeah, exactly. We have to practice sucker punch. We can like, baton pass. And baton pass is actually a very good play because like we could just <laughs> baton pass. Oh yeah, we went to tank group first because we could uh, put this thing on the timer. Yeah, we wanted to scout a bit as well. Yeah, just see what it would do. We cripple it because uh, we know. Uh, it gets Dragon Tail as well. Yeah. Oh yeah. So if he, if he wanted to set up with our Pokemon and he just Dragon Tails us out, yeah, it's just a waste of the reflect turn. Yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> uh, Snorlax was the main idea to sweep the team with. Uh, so yeah, this chipping this and making sure that he can Dragon Tail us out is the best play for us. So he does Dragon Tail us, but look at all that chip that he has now. Uh, I'm trying to recall okay. what we did. I think we just. So, yeah, we set up. Yeah, we we started cursing. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we didn't think he would. Uh, we wouldn't take a lot from Dragon Tail, mm -hmm. and we had uh, just. Yeah, we, we still had. Uh, we had we had, we had rest rest chest though for if we want the toxic or some kind yeah. of shenanigan. So we didn't fear the Dragon as much. Yeah, even like even if he Dragon Tailed us, like uh, we got a curse up then and a reflect, like yeah, yeah. reflect is already up. So yeah. like we we knew we weren't gonna take a lot of damage from it. So curse felt free. Yeah, and then the Xato comes in. I don't really know why. <laughs> Actually, now I'm thinking of it. Why yeah, Zato... it probably should have gotten in his Corviknight, I guess here. Yeah, because Corviknight is, I think, a better check. But yeah, if his moveset was not appropriate for, or yeah. like, no body press, siren defense, she she's all, yeah. then yeah, you still have the free play with Snorlax. Exactly. So yeah, we went for Darkest Lariat because that hit the Zatu uh, very hard. Yeah, we just wanted to get rid of it. Yeah. Uh, it's a good play from him to switch because he's stalling out the reflect turns. Yeah. It's, and especially like to the person alone because with fur coat, it can definitely take uh, a few hits. So it does go for the knockoff, and we see, and because uh, well, like we were fearing foul play, especially I remember, and we, like uh, I think I thought because he ran knockoff, he wouldn't run foul play as well. But uh, worst, worst even he ran taunt. <laughs> <laughs> I did not expect taunt. Cause yeah, exactly. Cause uh, I thought we could go for a curse after that. Cause I didn't expect like uh, a foul play then afterwards. I thought it was like knockoff, uh, toxic, uh, parting shot, and then another coverage move. Actually, yeah, no, but... dark is actually kind of good thing in this. Wait. Yeah, like <laughs> we have no resist. <laughs> uh, Hakambo. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah. But that's why we got it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but yeah, he taunts us. So, uh, oh yeah, we switched because we made the Blissey being able to stall out this person as well. I know um, that we could. Yeah, do, do, I felt like like there was no point staying in and just taking more chip from a Persian. Yeah, which is really good because this time he did foul play. So like, thank God. <laughs> so yeah, it it does have U turn then, which yeah works as well, I guess. Um, oh yeah, 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 and yeah. Uh, I remember we were contemplating this play because I said uh, he's definitely gonna go Zatu, 
And I remember you saying, like, what does it matter? We already have rocks on our field. <laughs> <laughs> what do we do? Yeah. What do we lose? <laughs> I, re I remember that. I, 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 that was funny. That was funny. Um, yeah, yeah. If only the, the, the viewers could know the funniness of our, of our live battles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, that would be great. Yeah. <laughs> Week three, baby. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so he just talks. Oh, you know what would have been great here? Skill swap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but no. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah. but also no. <laughs> yeah. So he reveals wish, so we know he's probably wish teleport because this is one of the Pokemon that also get wish teleport. So we can't really do anything against it. So we just switch out to our Rotom. And look at the boots! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he switches to this Corviknight, uh, probably to like body press and like he knows he can wall us, uh, wall us. but uh, yeah, we went for the same play, just T-Bolt in the case of like... Uh... Well, I think we Volt switched. Yeah? No, no, we don't have Volt yeah, switch, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We didn't have it. <laughs> yeah, we T-Bolted to like, because like, I remember an Asi plot, uh, T-Bolt could kill almost anything. And, like, uh, I was afraid of like Assault Vest. <laughs> um, Set the scorch, I believe. Set the scorch, yeah. yeah. But it, it wasn't. No, uh, yeah. Look, this like, was definitely too much, dam uh, too much damage. I think it was max HP, max attack, and uh, some yeah. random item we don't care about. But it's, it was an obvious switch in from uh, Set the scorch on the Rotom Gate to get the Flash Fire boost, mm -hmm. to get an OV boost. But yeah, we just played it safe, clicked T Ball because it hit almost every uh, guy on his team, and, and only not Dredigan, but. Over it also doesn't hit Dredigan, so yeah, but like Dredigan, yeah, already with Toxic as well, so like yeah, there's there was just no point in clicking over it there, so we yeah. just went for the safety ball and it worked out for us first. Uh, and since we <coughs> lift that, we switched, yeah, we switched. Oh, we switched to Snorlax, yeah, because we lost our item already. Yeah, there, we didn't fear the knockoff. Uh, oh, we didn't yeah, we gotta, we gotta talk about that. <laughs> We didn't fear the knockoff, we're tick fat, so we uh, live the uh, fire lash. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. At least two. And we could just do some chip damage back or rest up. Uh... Yeah. <clears throat> and then, yeah, this, we... <laughs> then this thing comes in. I'm like, oh, easy. He can just only drag a tail us out. So we could, ju we could just rest, whatever. <laughs> Fucking. Oh no, we didn't rest, we attack. No. We um, cursed, we cursed. I, I, we cursed here because we didn't think he would, uh, he was like, if he dragon tails us and he misses, then we have the free curse and then we can kill him next turn. Yeah. And if he, uh, if he hits us, then we're just phased out and we take reduced damage. So yeah. it doesn't really matter much. So we thought we had a free curse here. Yeah. <laughs> surprise, <laughs> surprise. Boop. <laughs> and we're just like, oh, shit. <laughs> that just <laughs> happened. So, oh, it has super power, like, okay, well played from him from yeah. not revealing it, but also logical, actually, because we had Reflect up then, when the yeah. last time it went in. Uh, and now we have to make the call, like, yeah. do we go for an attack move, or um, after the curse, do we, do we just kill it? Yeah. Uh, is he going to attack us again, or do we go for a rest? Because if he doesn't attack us, we can, like, rest up, and he's reduced attack to... Uh, make sure that we live to superpowers. So yeah, so <clears throat> definitely, like, I feel superpower is hundred percent to play. Even if the dragon pop comes in, like you still have your Sylveon at full, your Corviknight at full, I guess. Um, but we rested because like he was not switching in anymore. So we were like, oh yeah, we're losing this mom. Uh, he dies next turn from Toxic as well. Forgot uh, yeah. about that. Yeah. So it was like yeah, we live the superpower. So. Uh, and if he dragon tells us, we will just have more HP back. Yeah, so we rested, so and we went first. So we he was dragon tailing, so we had our Guru Gustavo back well at 60 because he crit us, but still. And we got a Rudon Heat in, which was amazing. Because, <laughs> <laughs> like, like, this was the only check to Rudon Heat, and he's like, he just died in front of it. So it's like, oh, what? that's kind of good. <laughs> As uh, Sylveon has a lot of Pedev, of course, but it doesn't really matter, yeah. I feel. No. Because, yeah, we resist his, his stab, so... Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, it died, mm -hmm. uh, but they, he brings in... Swole. Well, yeah, the Persian Alola. Persian. I didn't want to lose our heavy-duty boots. I remember this. 
I didn't want to lose boots in case uh, something weird would happen. I don't know. I don't remember what. But I didn't want to lose our boots because I knew we yeah, were going to knock off. Yeah, and take the chip. Yeah. Because we we still needed to deal with the synth scorch as well. Yeah. So we went. I, I think we with... gave too much respect to the synth scorch. <laughs> yeah, maybe. We did. In, 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 in hindsight, so yeah. plus we knew like that uh, Persian got walled by um, by Tang Roads. Yeah. We, we saw it set, so we knew it got walled. So there was like no point in not going Tang. True, true, true. Uh, yeah, because he, lo he did like Rocky Hammer damage uh, and the Life Orb. And it was a 2%. And here I made the call. I just said, let's switch to Dragapult. Uh, because he's going to U-turn. Because he's going to see the uh, super effective button on his uh, Persia. And he's going to click that. So we can go <laughs> Dragapult and just set up screens again. Or try to set up screens again. So well, what? to be fair. To be fair, uh, we got called out that this was a shit play. Yeah. But I feel like the having the Tangroot healthy could always uh, have some use. Yeah. Uh, because Tang it could have been good. yeah, it could have been underestimated by him and by our opponent, and he could have went like sent the scorch in later in the game. Oh yeah. And we had the tech for the and we had some techs on on Tangroot. Yeah, we had that could Rex help us. And like even knockoff is still league, like good because like all of his Pokemon still had their items and like getting rid of leftovers on Corviknight for example is also great or something else or like Wakam Berry or whatever that Corviknight has. Yeah, it, um, maybe Oka. <laughs> yeah, so we switched to Dragapult while he go, did go for the U-turn. But so we have a Dragapult in, which is really great for us. We can just set up screens if we want to, but we just bat pass because he went to Sylveon because we have the best wall against. Sylveon. Against special attackers. <laughs> yeah, special attackers. Yeah. That's 20% with no special defense investment, by the way. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. That's just a snack. Oh, yeah, we wished because we could just go Rotom on the Corviknight. Because Rotom was always a good switch in versus this. Even if he goes for the iron defense, uh, a thingy, uh, body press would not kill body us. Body press. Yeah. Yeah, we, we have uh, some HP investment. Yeah. I think it was here that I wanted to nasty plot with uh, um, Rotom Heat mm -hmm. because I, I thought we could uh, like sweep just from this point on. Yeah. But you no. didn't want to risk the damage. Yeah. I thought with body press. Yeah. I, I want so less didn't... damage. <laughs> yeah, no, I wanted to have less damage. Uh, try to get less damage, I guess. Like, I wanted to see as well how much T-Ball does, and as we see, you did 54, <laughs> and we count this, and 54 was like a mid-roll, so we could just T-Ball again. So he has no switches. Oh, this is great. This is where you came in. This is where you really stepped in. Yeah, uh, so, like, we knew Hyper Voice wouldn't kill us, uh, for sure. So, it's like, just nasty plot here. We have the, we have the increased damage, and then we can two shots the Sylveon, uh, for sure. Uh, one shot it, actually after we pain split back our health mm -hmm. so because we we have we don't have a lot of hp sylveon has a lot of hp so pain split can practically bring us back almost to full and it will do a lot of damage to sylveon as well yeah it was a good play it was really good play so yeah and we're faster as well so we can just pain split and you see we're at 84 suddenly back so like now uh we can just t-bolt if i recall yeah we just t-bolt everything now yeah, we just t-bolt and win. Oh yeah. Uh, like, Thunderbolt was a roll, but again, um, he had critters with Hyper Voice to kill us. Yeah. And I didn't feel like missing overheat. No, I get it, yeah. So yeah, that was, that was second week 6-0, uh, revenge of the last one. Uh, we did way better here. Man, yeah. I, I'm, I'm starting to remember all the jokes we cracked uh, on this live. And like, <laughs> I'm actually angry I didn't have the recording. I, I don't remember him. Bro, I, so I, I, I'm also <laughs> mad that it's recorded. <laughs> no, but like, I remember you were like, uh, I remember you saying, why, why, would, why would you switch in Dragon? I'm like, nah, do it, bro, do it. <laughs> like, I was super, <laughs> oh, I invested on that. Uh, I remember being very surprised he didn't bring his Darmanitan. Oh, yeah. Uh, against his... Yes, Clarion Darmanitan. Okay, he can only use Zen mode, but still he didn't it's bring Still it. a like, scary mm. ass mon. We, we also had like Shed Shell on Blissey just for the uh, freaking oh, yeah, for... Delmice. Yeah, the... He doesn't bring it. <laughs> I'm like, why does he not bring all these freaking threats? <laughs> yeah. Wait, uh, what is it? AAS. Yeah, AAS. Yeah. There we go. 
uh, Darmanitan, yeah, it's, it's nearly the Darmanitan, and I'm like, why not? <laughs> <laughs> but why? So, yeah. Kind of wacky, not gonna lie. Yeah, the Zato was a good bringer, of course, against Blissey and stuff, but... Was there a Pugu that I felt he shouldn't have brought? I don't know, Sylveon, I guess? Uh, Sylveon, yeah. I don't think yeah. his, his Alolan Persian set was optimal as well. Yeah. I mean, like, if you look at his team, he was really scared of Rotom Heat. It's, it's yeah, really Rotom Heat was I, I, don't, I don't feel his draft is really strong as well. It's not really cohesive, mm -hmm. if you uh, like to say it. Oh, I get, I get you, I get you, I get you. Uh, next week, it's against... not. No, no, no. No, Matt. Uh, it, uh, yeah, Maduka Matt. Matt. Uh, <laughs> oh, yes, this one. <laughs> yeah. And I got the live recording for this, and I'm editing it today. <laughs> so we're doing <Nice>. it. <laughs> Finally, <laughs> a live recording. 